With every feral thrust of obelisk, more of myself I seem to give. Her screams are tinged with language vulgar, disagreeing with herself, alternating between negative and positive. Over her shoulder, she gazes at me a blank stare. It is a slight smile combined with a contorted countenance. It tells me I am right there. We have meshed together as if we had been born or lived all of our existence, and now forward, her face turns. And now with ing fingers creating indentations in her waist skin, I extend and stretch each thrust. Again, I extend and stretch each thrust. And then a thousand times more, I extend and stretch each thrust. In similar fashion, she motivates her movements backwards. The ferocity is earnest and similar to a meteor falling to earth. So now as I thrust, she thrust. As she thrust, I thrust. And now we thrust in unison. We thrust in unison. We thrust in unison. The calamity now has us weak at the knees. And no statue am I, I start to bend, buckle, and break. Her screams are now touching the high heavens, and she's telling me there's no more that she can take. And now the, the waters form a pond. They grow into a river and they mature into an ocean. And now there are oceans upon oceans. And so I joined the carnal concerto, the both of us ending in one final thrust. My poem.